The new Nigeria People's Party has urged the United Nations agencies and other international stakeholders to give their support to strengthen Nigeria's democracy. The national vice chairman of the party, Prince Onunweze, disclosed this while receiving the United Nations team from the Office on Internal Oversight Services for the United Nations Secretariat at the party's headquarters in Abuja on Thursday. Claire views Imefono Kon was there and now tells us more. While receiving the United Nations team from the Office of the Internal Oversight Services for the United Nations Secretariat at the new Nigeria's party headquarters on Thursday, the National Vice Chairman of the NNPP, Prince Ono Nwaize, said Nigeria's democracy has advanced from being nascent to full-fledged democracy and sharing ideas and experiences of the UN agencies will assist developing nations like Nigeria to deepen its democracy. We are no more nascent democracy, we are now growing democracy. And what happened 2023 is also different from 2019, 2015, and we all believe that uh, 2027, the process in which you people are also administered is very welcome. And uh, an MPP, being New Nigerian People's Party, being uh, a party that adheres strictly to uh, democratic principle and process, we are happy to welcome you people and ready to partner with you to see that uh, we move our democracy forward until we get to where it's supposed to be. In our response, the leader of the three-member team, Young Ching Ho, said they were at the NNPP Secretariat to get the party's leadership feedback on their engagement with UN agencies during the period of the 2023 election and to also find out how the party has engaged with UN agencies on election-related matters and the challenges the party has faced over time. So we are in Nigeria this week to, to because we're doing an evaluation of the work of a regional political mission, UNOWAS, the United Nations Office for West Africa and the Sahel, which is based in, in Dakar, Senegal. But they have the mandate for working with ECOWAS and with countries within, its, 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 within the region to support um, peaceful uh, processes, peace building, and peace and security issues generally within the, the region. And we understand that they have had some involvement with, with parties here, with your government, etc., on the election-related processes and with the special representative of the Secretary General extending his good offices to, to meet with, with key stakeholders in this country in the lead-up to the elections. So what we're interested to, to learn about with, through meetings with, with, with you and with other um, parties and, and with other the stakeholders in the country is to hear your views about, about the engagements, if you have had any, with, with UNOWAS, about your views as the United Nations, what should they be supporting on, what should per perhaps they, 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 they do more, what have they done and what were some of the results of those engagements as well. So to hear from you about what, what, what are some of these aspects, what are some of the challenges that, that your party faces and what are some of the parties to peaceful, uh, uh, challenges to peaceful elections within the country that perhaps you can share with us and perhaps that, that, that need to be better addressed. Recall that during a peace accord organized for the various gubernatorial candidates in Kano State by the Kano Peace Committee, before the governorship election of March 18, the Deputy Special Representative of United Nations Secretary General of West Africa and the Sahel, Jovenir Biha, had reiterated the commitments of the United Nations to democratic consolidation in Nigeria. Imefo Nukun, reporting for Clevy News.